All right, so I went ahead and removed the side piece, got it laid down there on the floor. If you notice there, I got a floor jack. This is gonna help me to actually hold it up while the tape actually cures itself to the body. I've already prepped it, uh, the body of the car, uh, using a grease remover or what we call a small amount of thinner on the paint. So directly underneath here, there is the door and then the body, and then the body kit. And as you see, once I put this on, uh, even with the new 3M tape that I just stuck onto the back, uh, can't see it, actually it's right there, the 3M tape. You'll actually see that this kit actually still has a defect in the design, which this piece of the body will still hang low and uh, not like the original stock that it actually should so still will probably hate me for this video but it's something that I think everyone should know so we'll put this on and then uh, I'll come back and show you once I have it up okay so I have the kit up there if you noticed I got to the factory floor jack using this to help push it up if you actually see, I got the double-sided tape pulled out, ready to pull. This is the gap here between the kit. Let me see if, if I get that to focus in a little bit. The paint's just there. Okay, there it goes. So this is the body kit. This here is the stock of where it actually needs to reach into. So, body kit, and then the body back in there so I'm gonna put it in and put on a pause and then once I do the tape I will show you okay I've already stuck the double-sided tape on it's got a good uh, let's see okay between the body kit my finger and the body you see the color of the paint here is you can tell this is a little stock. The Nissan didn't really put too much effort in painting the inside door jams. But it's on. It's stuck. It's on there. I'm going to leave the floor jack on there. And now I'm going to close the door. Just to give you a general idea that no matter what, no matter how far you push up the body kit to the body, you'll st still notice that there's going to be a gap between the door and the body so I'm gonna close it one inch gap and still a lot of room between here less of, uh, of what I could put my finger however it's because I have this pushing it up now once I remove that it's gonna drop down because it's pushing from the side up and not directly from underneath so once I remove that, it will drop down a bit. If you could hear the squealing of the, the body, there it goes. So this is where you have the problem with Stillen's body kit, is the gap between the door and the body. So that's what Stillen needs to fix. This is a lot, a lot of space. Take your finger and put it in between your door jam of your existing car. If you do have the stock one, you'll notice that the gap will only be about that much. So that's pretty much it. The vehicle is still sitting on floor jacks, wheels off, using that uh, floor jack there to hold up the body kit so the tape can actually cure itself to the body. So that's pretty much it. The rear door as well. If you hear, you're gonna hear this. This is because the tape isn't stuck on there. So that's just something to expect. Uh, if Stillen could fix it, it'll be nice, but Stillen might hate me for showing this review on this particular vehicle and their particular product. All right, so that's it. I'm George, I'm out, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, bye-bye.